Okay, in this screencast I'm going to show you how to do a couple of things that I showed in the session last time and how to do slightly more complex searches, basically. Now you might remember, if you were there, that we looked for the word mate. The problem with mate is that it is a noun and an ad a verb. Um, so you might just want to look for it as a noun now, if you want to do that, you need to put a code after the word, and it needs to be attached with this symbol, this underscore. So to look for mate as a noun, we do this one. This means singular noun. And we can do the search. And hopefully it'll work. But here we are, immediately. Look, mate, this is definitely a noun. They all seem to be fairly correct. Sometimes it makes mistakes, it's not perfect, but generally this is a more accurate way of doing it. Let's say we were interested instead in the verb form. So mate here could be the infinitive form of the verb. In which case we do v, v, i. And let's see how many we get this time. Yeah, and here we are. You'll notice that two followed by the infinitive or modal verb. Again, that's pretty accurate. Okay, if you want to find these codes and download them, you come to here, this one, and you can download this file. I'll just open it for now. Uh, in a new tab, so you can see it. If I go there, this gives you all kinds of useful information. Uh, and at the bottom, so I'm going through this rather quickly, but at the bottom we have all of the tags, these are the codes for different kinds of words. So we've got AJ0 for adjective. Uh, N, N, 1, so you can get in a common noun. Different kinds of verbs, because there's be, do, have, modals, all have their own codes. And then other verbs, so you'll probably remember the one I just used, V, V, I, that's the infinitive. So that's one thing to do, if you want to look for different parts of speech. Just one more to do with verbs, and nouns for that matter. Let's say we were interested in all forms of mate. I don't know if I've shown you this one before. And we're all interested in all forms of mate as a verb. We do this. And this will give us mates, mating, mated, etc. As you can see, mating, mated, mate. Except mates doesn't seem to be used very often. Right, so that's different parts of speech. Another thing we looked at um, that, that may be useful for you is when we're looking for contractions. I'm not sure if I've covered this before. If we look for don't, we type that in, we're going to have a problem. Oh, okay, so we only get three. Obviously, there's, it's used more than three times in this corpus. What I've done incorrectly here is this really is two words, do not, so you need to separate them like this, and we should get a few more. Let's just see, here we are, yes, 93,000 instead of three. So the, the basic principle here is that you split it up into its two or three component words. Sometimes, of course, it's not so obvious, like with in it, which really is, isn't it? So you might have to experiment a bit, but I know that for in it, it's in, space, n, space, it. And that should get us all the examples of in it, meaning isn't it? Or certainly a lot of them. finally decides to work. 
there's probably quite a lot of these. Oh, here we are. Oh, 2000, okay. Other ones like this, which are a bit tricky at first, gonna going to, so you need to split it into gone and na. And similarly with wanna, want to, you split it like that. A final one, which might be of interest to you, is ain't, which is isn't. So we'd split it like this. Let's just check that's correct. Yeah, that seems to be correct. Obviously, if you have any other ones that you're not sure about, you can always ask me. OK, the final useful little tip I'll give on searching for today is for looking for alternatives of the same word. Now, one of the words that came up last time was telly. But we might be interested in other forms of it, like television or TV. Now, this is a nice way of searching for all three at the same time. So we need you need to use this symbol, this long straight line. Um, it, it's in different places on different keyboards, so you'll need to look around a bit for it. Um, and surround the whole thing with parentheses. So let's just show you how this works. I think we're going to get quite a number of hits here. Yeah, 17,000, that's quite a lot. So you'll see we've got television, TV. Now, we've got a nice thing here. If we've got different forms in the middle, we can do what's called frequency breakdown. This will tell us how many there are of each one. So you see television is the most common, followed by TV, and telly really isn't that common. So we could then, I can find all the ones, the television, <coughs> all the instances, and do things with this, like show in random order, that will work, and do a distribution, just for television. Oh, which, as we see, is more common written than spoken, just. There's not much in it. I wonder if any particular social class uses it more. Oh, how about that? If you're higher class, then you're more likely to use television. According to this, anyway. Well, I think those are the main things we're going to look at. Yeah, like I say, just going back to here, this simple query syntax help is quite helpful. It might be worth printing off. It's certainly worth saving on your computer.